looks like solving an exponential equation, which it is, but we're, we're doing it for the purpose of coming up with the idea of this change of base law. So the motivation here is we aren't able to put things like this into our calculator, log base 3 of 7 or log base 4 of 21. The only bases you have on your calculator are base 10. You actually have one other base that we're going to look at later, which is called base E. Um, so there is another there's another value on your calculator. You have uh, you, you you can once we do this once we once we learn this we can we can get around it by using this change of base law. But what I'm saying is there's no like there's a ten to the x button and there's its inverse which is log x. There's there's no three to the x button. I know you can you can use that y to the x or the power or whatever. So you're getting ahead of us here in the change of base rule. Do you, is that just if you can see that right now? That's 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 good. That's where we're going. Okay, that's where we're going with this. Though you, there is no there is no log base three button log base. You know how they have? Well, let's look at the calculator here. There are not that. <laughs> um, there's square root here. There's cube root, and there's a button that says any root here. There's log. This log button is log base ten. There's no anywhere on here that says, there's no thing like this that says log base x of something. But you can get around it by doing exactly what you're saying here. Okay, you can get around it by putting in another expression that's equivalent to it. If you solve this two different ways, you'll see what two equations are, are the same. Okay, so we're going to solve it first by taking the log base 10 of both sides. You can probably almost do this in your sleep right now, right, at this point. Log of 3 to the x equals log of 7. Or in other words, x log 3 equals log 7, which gives us x is equal to... I really have to stop that. x is equal to what? Log 7 over log 3. So we got one here that x is equal to that. Now we're going to solve it a different way here. We're going to solve it by taking the log base 3 of both sides. Now you wouldn't do this if you're trying to punch it into your calculator. You can. Now once you know this, you are going to be able to do that. If you take your original thing and do the log base 3 of both sides, then those are still equal. Why does that work over here? What do I have over here? Yeah, that cancels out. You just have an X, right? So it's equal to this. Now, the reason we haven't done that in the past is because there there is no button that says log base 3 of 7. There's no log base 3 button. But the fact that we've got X equals this and X also equals this, what has to be true now? If we've solved it one way and gotten this and solved it another way and gotten this different expression, what has to be true about these two things? They're equal, right? So the rule is going to look something like this. Log base 3 of 7 equals log 7 over log 3. If we had something else, some other numbers, like we had log base, should we use B for base and A for that. That makes sense. What has to be true there then? If you have log base B of A, that's essentially the change of base rule. You can use it. It, it, it allows you to evaluate other bases using base 10 logarithm. Now really, we, we chose to up here use base 10 logarithms, but we could have done it with any logarithm we wanted to, right? So I'm going to do this down below here, but I'm not going to use log, base 10 logarithms. We'll use log base anything. 
whatever number you want. And we'll get a similar expression, right? If we whatever, well, actually, you could add it to this. Make it better, I think. Instead of taking the log base 10 here, we could have done the log base C. Let's just put a C for some other number, whatever number that happens to be. Then there could be a C everywhere there, and it's just going to say this, isn't it? If we had done log base 211 of that and log base 211 of that side, we would still get this. We'd get this ratio here is the same no matter what base you use. So really the rule could have a little letter C there. I know it looks more complicated with that in it, and people tend to think it's a tougher idea when it's like that. But it's the same thing here, okay? It could be anything. It could be in any base you want. Log base B of A is that, any base possible. Okay, any base you choose here. You can just use a C for any base. <coughs> this might be a time to introduce this other, this other base you have on your calculator, base E. We're going to look at later what, what base E is, what that value of that number is. But you notice see here you have log and you have 10 to the x. Here you have ln and you have e to the x. Ln stands for, I don't know why it's ln and not nl, but it's natural logarithm. Natural log. It'll become hopefully more clear later why it's called natural log. I don't know why it's ln. Maybe it's French log naturel or something like that, but for some reason that's why they write it. You could write it like this, log with the little letter E there. If you go to your calculator, E is a number like pi. It's it's an irrational number that just goes on and on. There's an E over here. E is just, whoops, that's 4E. Okay, E is just that number. There were the last tutorial here, you don't really have to, we don't really use that in this course. If you take calculus later on, you'll use natural logarithms a lot. They are used in continuous growth problems and exponential stuff, but we'll we'll get into that later. So really, you could you could also write it like that. You could say that log base b of a is also equal to natural logarithm of a over natural logarithm of b, or some other base, or just base 10. Now, using that thing is fairly straightforward then. If you have an expression like that, you should be able to evaluate it now, right? You can't directly do base 8 logarithms, but you can use this rule. You could, you can directly just write that. What's this rule say that's, that's got to be equal to? Log base 8 of 70 should be log of 70 divided by log 8. Okay, so that should give it to you. If you don't know the change of base rule, what you could do is, is what some people do is just kind of do what it says here, which is if somebody asks you to evaluate an expression, an expression, there's no two sides to make changes to, but what some people do is they say, I'm just going to let it equal something like n, and then then you can manipulate it and change it back to something because then once you give it a name here you can say you can change it to this form and then you can solve it the other way right so you could solve it and say now I'm going to take the log base 10 of both sides log 70 equals n log 8 and you get the same thing so you don't really need to change a base rule if you if you know how to work with equations and stuff, but it's a lot quicker to do it if you have the change of base rule, if you just know right away that those are equivalent. What is the number, incidentally, when you do that? Make sure you're using, what's that? Two point something or other. <clears throat> Should be two point something or other. Eight squared is 64, so two point one, two point. Four, three, oh, nine, four, six, nine. Okay. Almost at 10 Oh, thank you. Yeah, good. Um, some of the other questions here, have a look at them. Uh, I actually wrote the change of base rule up there, but you can write it here if you want. 